Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Guess what? We woke up and shortly after lost power to the house. So I had to figure that out. And as you can hear, we've got a generator running and we're back in business. 10 people are coming over, so no screwing around. Uh, so let me show you what exactly is happening here. Well, it's Thanksgiving morning and the power went out. And we have 10 people coming here today. So, looks like I might have to fire up the generator. There we go. There she be. Be, it be an hour and a half before the power comes back on. <laughs> we have decided we've spent 37 holidays together. 37 Christmases. But so double that because Thanksgiving, Christmas. It's a lot. It's, a lot. <laughs> it's, it's an honor. Do they send us a message? Do they usually send a message when their power goes out? Jen. We're stored by 10.30 a.m. What, what time is it now? Okay, so a couple of hours. So I got to turn this off. That's the main. Okay, the main is off. And then I'm going to turn my gen whole house generator on. And then I lift this up and I flip the generator circuit on. And that back feeds this panel. That's a very dangerous thing to do if you don't do it right. But I already turned my main off. Now I'm going to fire up the generator. All right, so an hour and a half is a long while if you're trying to get ready for Thanksgiving visitors, right? Am I right? I was going to use this small tank, but I thought better of it. We'll use this big one. How about that? Eh? So this is a, I've done a video about this. This is a dual fuel generator and it's never had gas, it's never had gas in it. So we're going to get this tank away from it. Just keep the I like to keep the gas far away because I've seen somebody burn down three houses right out there over across the waterway with uh, gas tanks under the house. Let's see now, how do we do this? Okay, that's uh, liquid propane and that's gas. So we're switching to liquid propane. Oops. All right, that has to be on. Nothing, again, nothing is powered on inside of the house. I'm going to put this on here. Where do I turn that? There we go. And then this will go in here. Okay, now, <clears throat> turn this on, and choke, <clears throat> there's the choke, and uh, battery on, make sure the gas is off and the propane is on, okay, uh, turn the choke back off. Now I just put it out in the open, away from anything that might catch a spark, so that uh, we All are right. safe. Now, can you hear it? <laughs> we have power. I had a flashlight over here somewhere. You see my flashlight? Is it on the bed? I can't see in here. 
Good morning. Ta-da! Classic that this would happen on Thanksgiving. Yeah. All right. So now we re we reconfirm that that main line is off, and we lift our switch blocker here and turn our back feed on. And I don't see power. Oh, <laughs> now I have to go turn the power on the generator. Let's try again. Well, that's doing it. It threw the breaker downstairs. So what I did first when I fired it up is I had forgotten to turn the power on, the main path, the, the feed. Um, then I came down and I turned the power on while it was running and it went upstairs and I turned the, uh, and I fired up the panel and then everything shut off again. Well, that's because this breaker threw back to off. It flipped back to off because there was too much uh, pull on this on this uh, generator for this rating. And so I went back up and shut a couple of things, flipped a couple of breakers off, and then came down here and re repowered it and, it, and it was fine, obviously. And then, so what you can do is turn off a bunch of stuff when, you, when you're starting your generator and back feeding your panel and then just flip things on it, on and off intermittently. You can run, I can run pretty much everything in the house, but if I have, you know, my AC running and two refrigerators, compressors running at the same time, washing machine, you're not gonna be able to run all that. So just, just, be, just be smart about it and, and use what you need while you need it. And you can always do that with the panel. You can flip breakers on and off as you need them. So anyway, that's my story. So I'm going to try again, and I'm going to turn the AC off because we don't need that right now. It's For some reason, I think it's throwing the circuit on the generator, and I think that's because I have too many things going at once. So let's try that. We'll turn the water heater off, too. And then we'll try our luck. Hold, hold, all right, we're in business. Yay! And we have power back on now, so I'm, I've shut this thing off and I'm gonna go back to the panel, make sure everything is disconnected here. The main thing with these is you don't wanna back feed your panel and have your, your, your main switch on and in your you're feeding power into your line, into the neighborhood, and you could, you could potentially kill a lineman who's up, you know, trying to fix a transformer. So be very careful about that. Right. So in conclusion, that dual fuel generator is very useful. I've never put gasoline in it, so the carburetor is is relatively clean. I don't think propane fouls it up at all. Um, so that way, if I'm ever out of propane, all of a sudden we have an emergency and I have gas around, I can put gas in it and vice versa, you know. Uh, but we have, fortunately, we have generators coming out of the wazoo, if you will. Uh, we, got, we got the Blue Eddy in, we did a review of that and, we, and um, it's really cool. And All Powers sent us this generator, which we're gonna review shortly. And uh, it's very cool, similar type of thing. These have batteries on board, so they're all in one. They're the new uh, power stations um, that have been coming out. So uh, watch for a review on the all power generator. And uh, yeah, again, we're very happy that we bought that, that large capacity dual fuel 
because it's so far it's helped us out through a hurricane, a storm or two. We've had it for how many, how long now, John? Three or four years? Uh, yeah, a good, three years. A good, yeah, a good three or four years now. So, and everything is, is good. I like to start it up on occasion just to make sure it's working. And it, and it always is. So, and like I say, we have we have more backup if we need it. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Thanks for watching. And Merry Christmas to you when that comes around.